I consider myself quite lucky. Through my army career, I've gone through most of the wars. I've done, I was on the original Gulf One, um, Bosnia, Sierra Leone, Northern Ireland, plays a part and all that sort of stuff. Iraq, then obviously Afghanistan. So I've done them all. But um, that's where I've sort of learnt my trade from. So I started from zero all the way up to um, fully qualified EOD operator. Um, but there are some people that uh, are on the circuit that are as qualified as me and they're doing exactly the same job in, within different companies. But we're getting very far and few between at the moment. Very far and few between. Because all the wars are going now, there's not really many conflicts going and people are not getting their experience of this environment or this type of work um, anymore because there's no more wars for us to be gone to until the next one comes along. So we've been here about 14, 14 months now, um, 14, 15 months. Uh, we've cleared 1,300 square kilometres of area, roughly estimated. Um, roughly about 850 IEDs and about uh, 795 uh, UXOs so um, we're making quite an impact within, um, within Fluter itself but that is only the, the tip of the iceberg you know there is so much more um, in the area of Fallujah that could be cleared and should be cleared um, that, that's endangering life in there there's, there's many more Mainly IEDs, if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, not much UXO, I think that's all been sort of gathered up and cleared. Um, obviously there'll, there'll be some bits and bobs lying around that, in areas that we haven't been into to yet. But it's the IED threat that's the highest within Fallujah. But as I say, up to now we've done about 840 odd uh, uh, IEDs. As in, removed from the ground, which obviously makes makes it a bit safer for some people in their areas. But there's other areas that we we haven't been to yet that are highly contaminated with IEDs as well. There is a sense of pride in what I do and all that sort of stuff. You know, I mean, it's good. There is a good feeling when um, you know you you know you've cleared a house in Fallujah that you know kids can have a safe sort of play area and all that sort of stuff. I'm not I'm not that. Um, Thick skin to think, ah, oh, sorry, you know what I mean? You know, you, there is a sense of pride and there is a sense of worth. Yeah, we are doing a good job here.